COPA is a law in the District of Columbia, tenants first right to purchase. A law that gives tenants the first opportunity to purchase their property if an owner decides to uh, sell the property or convert the property to another use. That was a battle that was won by tenants in this city. Over the years, it has been very effective in helping low-income people, moderate-income people keep their housing. We had our ribbon cutting, and everybody was just in a real great mood because we had done this, you know, it was really an achievement for us. Everybody felt proud, it's like we own this. <laughs> My daughter has an apartment on this property. My granddaughter has an apartment on this. My mother used to live on here. So this is like a four generation property for me. La finalidad nuestra de, de comprar y batallar eh, y renovar este edificio es para que nosotros los hispanos no seamos desplazados. Envision that this is a lifetime dream that in the Washington metropolitan area you don't have to be displaced. El edificio está mejor, vivimos mejor que vivíamos hace cuatro años. At the wages alone, you know, we, it was unbelievable. You know, we just thought we had, had gotten our American dream. I've lived here 32 years. Everybody looks out for everybody. The former management company, um, CIH, they called the tenants together and they were wanting us to sign over our rights as renters so that they can do condominiums. And at this point with the clientele that we had living here, we knew right away that we really couldn't do the condominiums and we did not want to remain a rental unit with just somebody else as a management company. We wanted to purchase and we did. And the district government gave us through the TOPA program $4.7 million. So we purchased it within a year. If we hadn't been able to get the money from DHCD, we wouldn't have been here, none of us. We're right on the cutting edge of getting our places fixed up. Casey Trees came out in April and planted 10 trees in the center of the courtyards. And we were so excited about that. We had a lot of participants and a lot of people to help us. We envisioned it to be that our children's children will be able to maintain the legacy that we started. And they will continue to live here in the District of Columbia forever. The question of affordability for the future is one that we have to address now, and tenant purchases are a way to do that. These are longtime DC residents. They're not looking to move out to the suburbs. They love their buildings, they want to stay in them. And they've got great transportation now. They've got all kinds of amenities here that everybody outside of DC are clamoring to get in, you know, they'd love to have. These families cannot afford what it costs to do this under market rate terms. So the city's money is the catalyst and is the glue that holds the whole thing together and without it we don't do this. Este edificio estaba completamente vacío y recién lo habían quemado después de la cosa que pasó con Martin Luther King en el año 1968. Lo compramos en el año 2000. La ciudad fue la que nos prestó el dinero. Y como aquí habían 22 unidades y los que tuvimos siempre la intención de quedarnos aquí y de seguir siendo inquilinos de este edificio, nomás quedamos nueve. Entonces hubo la posibilidad de que los 13 restantes las unidades se pudieran vender al precio del mercado, lo cual nos ayudó para que las unidades de nosotros sean un precio razonable a la cantidad de dinero que cada uno de nosotros calificamos. La renovación de estos edificios he hecho conciencia. 
la compañía desarrolladora nosotros lo empleamos, al arquitecto nosotros lo empleamos, al ingeniero nosotros lo empleamos, al contratista general nosotros lo empleamos. Y nosotros le dijimos a ellos cómo y qué es lo que queríamos nosotros que ellos hicieran. He hecho conciencia, sin buscar el lucro. Para mí es una satisfacción muy grande la compensación de un trabajo arduo, de sacrificio, de golpear puertas, se hizo realidad un sueño. Que nos quedáramos aquí una representación colectiva de la ciudad de Washington, que es una ciudad bastante mezclada. Tenants have purchased a number of buildings in D.C. and in Ward 1, uh, pursuant to the Tenant Opportunity to Purchase Act. There are other examples where tenants have successfully negotiated uh, terms, which are there to their advantage, and, th and that's also to be seen as a tenant right, because they had a valuable privilege, which they chose to negotiate. I'm happy to tell you Ward 1 is the most diverse ward in the District of Columbia. It's a diversity that we treasure. But we can maintain it only by ensuring that there is a range of housing that is available, most definitely including affordable housing and low-income housing. I usually identify it as that movie, New Jack City. This property was more like that, but on a higher level. Day in, day out shooting. My daughter's apartment, has been, windows has been shot out like six times. Thank God the bullet didn't hit my grandkids. I believe it was 07 when they told us that the property was up for sale. And by us being tenants, we had first right buyers. When we saw the letter about how much they was asking for the property, I didn't even know how to add the zeros or what number it was, but I knew it was a lot of money. We had 10 meetings with 10 different properties that um, wanted to buy the property. We didn't want um, our property torn down and rebuilt. That was the number one thing that we were asking them. CPDC was the one that we more was attracted to. They wanted to make this place change this place to be livable like if they would want their sister, mother, or someone to live here. And that got my attention and um, the tenant's attention. Anybody caring that much, you know, to put their family here must have plans to change our neighborhood. So we went with them. We are part owners. They give us the respect. Uh, we have a voice in what they do, how they do it and when they do it. When we had this project of building this playground, the tenants, you know, did all the pining, all the um, decorations and the signs. It was a community that I was praying would happen and it did. What I did was I bowed down with the violence, the drugs and all that and I kept praying that God, you know, change this property because their spirits in here are strong people, people that's fighting to stay alive and just caught up in a bad neighborhood. But see how long it took? <laughs> God worked it out. So now it's safe. I wouldn't say New Jack City now. I would say, I wouldn't say Peyton Place either. I'll say in between it's a nice, comfortable community. At the beginning, most of the people see this can happen to us. We are low income person. We don't have the means to own. The, we don't have the means to renovate the properties. La compra del edificio no fue tan larga como conseguir el dinero para la renovación. Al final creo que valió la pena. La cocina es completamente nueva. Tenemos nuevo gabinete, nuevo refrigerador. Tenemos carpeta nueva, tenemos luces nuevas, los apartamentos están bien pintados, no hay hoyos, no hay liqueos. We educate the tenants 
and how to run a co-op, how to be part of a board of directors, how to be part of the community, how to participate in the community. <laughs> come a long way, huh? Aunque no es dueño exactamente de tu apartamento, es dueño del complejo en general y tienes derecho a participar, a votar, a, a decidir lo que vas a hacer con tu edificio. They were willing to make some common decision that benefit to everyone to stay in the buildings and see how the building was renovated effectively and affordable for them. Creo que le hemos logrado algo que que muchas personas quisieran porque todo el mundo aunque se queje y todo pero se sienten que son dueños. Did you know this is going to be that, 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 that barbecue yeah, grill? Yeah, but I thought it was going to be over there. Yeah, right here. here? Oh, okay. Right there, that's the connection. Okay. Oh. You happy with that? Very happy. <laughs> <laughs> Very happy. The DHD's funding sources for tenant purchase are both federal and local. Locally, we have the Housing Production Trust Fund, which is funded by a share of the deed and recordation taxes that come from real estate transactions. It goes with the market, so in this particular real estate market, we've seen a downturn in the revenue that comes into that trust fund. There are thousands of people in the pipeline right this minute for monies to help them purchase their property, and they might lose the opportunity to purchase their property, which means they lose the opportunity to continue to live at a place that's affordable to them. When we found out the building was going to be sold by the owner, we found that it was very much a big opportunity for the tenants to try to purchase the building. We have a lot of children in the building, all ages, and they see that the adults come together every month to have a tenant association meeting. They ask to uh, form their own a little tenant association. They have planted flowers on the outside of the building. They have participated in the talent shows to get funds to keep this building open. We'll continue to stand until we find a way to buy this building.